Okay, so now we're looking at Pure OS from the makers of the Librem 5 Linux phone, and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. This one is really snappy. Even off the SD card, it's noticeably pretty quick. Right as I hit settings, it opens a lot faster than some of the other operating systems that are running off the SD card. You can go through and set different accounts. If you have online accounts you want to set to the phone, privacy settings, you can software control. Of course, I have the hardware kill switch on the microphone off, which I do by default anyway, because I rarely need a microphone on my Linux phone. Let's take a look at the resource usage with nothing else open. I wanted to check this out since it is such a quick operating system. Uh, it looks like right now it's using 78%. It's jumping up and down a little bit. Let's go down see. It's only using 23% of the RAM. This is just after booting up. Uh, there's nothing else I've opened except for that momentary settings to show you guys. And as I said, you can boot it right off the SD card if you want to try it out. I've got text working. It looks like they've put a lot of work into the software end of the Librem. So that phone, I'm not sure if it's fully functional yet, but this is the Pine phone, as I mentioned. So now we're opening the software. As you can see, it, it loads almost right away. You got Emacs, you got Genie, you got a, a variety of things you can play with. A lot of the stuff from the traditional GNOME desktop. Alright, and one thing I do use here is I like to use the G-Potter podcast software. That's really nice. That, you can look up podcasts that are interesting to you. As you can see, I already have subscribed to a couple. And then you can search through episodes and discover new podcasts. And from there, you can, you know, search for a topic that interests you. You can go to the top 50 uh, podcast. They got the Linux Outlaws, American Life, Radio Lab, and they got some comedy stuff. Basically, there's a ton of podcasts you can look through. And then once you've downloaded it, all you have to do is select it, hit episodes, and then hit play. And that has to open an external program. So, stuff you know so it takes a moment to upload or to open up, but it plays it well. Everything works well. Pure OS. It's really nice. I suggest you check it out if you have a Pine phone or if you're getting a Librem 5, this is what you can expect. So as you can see at the top, you have all your applications that are open. You can just swipe left and swipe right to go around and look through those. And then to close them out, you just hit the X at the top. Of course, you have access to Terminal as well. So if you want to do anything, you do have, by default, you have sudo privileges. And you can just sudo using your normal password to run any command you might need to do to administrate your phone or administrate elsewhere hitting that little X that exits out as you can see it exits it out right away as you can see it's a really quick operating system for the Pine phone uh, they've done a really job good job leaning this one down and I really like what they've done I like the uh, pure OS so I'm gonna be trying that for a little while and I'm gonna be burning post market OS I'm gonna try that out I, I'm really interested in the Lux encryption and the fact that they don't ship to Russia because of the encryption to me that's a great sales point so I'm getting ready to try out Postmarket OS, so stay tuned for that video. And if you like this one, please like it, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on the Pine Phone and protecting your privacy.